guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Nana and today I wanted to share a mod with you guys normally I don't do mod reviews but this one was really interesting this is a mod by Kustralin and I hope I'm pronouncing that all right it's a gender transition potions mod these are transition potions so they will transition your sim into the opposite gender or I think you can become non-binary, which means you don't have either gender. I'm a bit of a noob when it comes down to this topic. I uh, want to apologize now, just in case I say something that might not be entirely correct. I'm free to educate me on anything that I uh, have wrong in, uh, in this video. As far as I know, transgenders are people that identify with the opposite gender and then want to transition to that gender. You see them drinks the potion and then they get two pop-ups, one for a name and one for an orientation and a memory, which I thought was really cool. I love mods that add something permanent to your sims. For storytelling purposes, I mean, you could use it for personal gameplay too. I don't play by myself very much anymore because I do my let's plays, but I can definitely see myself using this for maybe uh, storytelling, like a let's play. Just imagine uh, being able to give your sim a memory of actually transitioning. I think that's really fun and it adds something to, you know, to your sims lives. And like I said, something permanent. For this one, there was an additional step that you could take to really, really deepen this transition. For those who are not familiar with sim PE or they don't really know how to do it properly, or they haven't ever used the program. I thought, let me read you through the process, the instructions, and then show you guys the mod and how to do the last step. If you want to see that, make sure to stay tuned to the end. You get three potions through about one simoleon. Now, the potions cannot fully transition your sims' bodies, so there is an initial step that I talked about earlier that needs to be completed in Sims PE first. So you can have your sims transition with the name change, with uh, an orientation change, and then there's also the third option to change your sims uh, appearance so it properly updates their face. And your sim gets the memory of transitioning to the opposite gender, but they still keep their old body, so to say. So you could put maybe clothing and makeup on top of that old body. Let's say you're a man, you wanna to transition to a woman, you get the potion, you transition, get the memory, name change, you know, everything that you need, but you remain in a male body, but you then have the option to wear, I mean, you have the option before, but let's just say you can wear female clothing and you know wear maybe longer hair or curly hair I don't know you know whatever you feel like is fitting to that sim and add some makeup or whatever you feel like again <laughs> fits that sim and then you can play out the transition um, like that as if uh, they are transitioning and they've become like legally become a woman but they don't have the parts so they're you know they're like in this in this state familiar with the subject so correct me if I'm wrong but I do know there are people that don't change their body and there are people who do and i feel like you can play out both ways you can either have your sim do the transition or you can do the full transition with an extra step that actually changes your sim's gender as well but for that you need to do or you need to get sim pe you need to do you know, the steps that i'll be showing you at the end of the video haven't done it yet haven't tested the mod haven't seen it in person so i don't know how many steps there are to add unnecessary you know talking and explaining but i do want to say that i really like having the option to give your sims a permanent memory but then not having to fully transition as well but also having the option to transition and have the memory as well so there are two options to this mod and that's what i like i like that it works and it gives your sims um a memory like something for storytelling for example your sim is gonna have that for the rest of their you know their life even just do it for personal gameplay you can make it as realistic as you want and i love that though having having said that i wonder if you can do uh the transition maybe two or three times can you transition back and forth are you gonna get to uh you know, uh, memories, are the memories going to change? Or can you transition, don't do the extra step in SimPE, but then go back and 
take the potion again, do a second transition again to the same gender, but then go into sim PE and then complete it. Like, would that work? Would that be, you know, would that be funky? I don't think it would give any extra memories because that's not what I'm getting from this, but I do wonder if it's possible. Um, but yeah, completing the action will open the change appearance UI. And like I said, it recommends you, oh, sorry, I just slept my microphone. <laughs> it recommends you to change their appearance so that the game can update their face properly. So that's something we have to think about. And something that I realized, it says uninstallation instructions. If you guys do check this out, I want you to test it out in a world where you're not playing because if you remove the package with a potion, you want to remove the packages with the memories. You can remove the packages at any given time, but if you want to remove the memories as well, then you have to go into SimPE and, you know, delete the memories generated by the potion. I would suggest just open this in a world that you're not using just in case something goes wrong. This is what I like to do, test things out in a world you don't give a, you know, about. And um, I'm gonna go into my, um, my game and let's just test it out. I'm really interested. Oh, and the link for this will be under this video. Of course. Let's say Nathan wants to become a girl. So we'll have him drink the pink one. And um, oh, there he goes. Okay, so I think I just want to. Oh, let's just give him some long hair. Why not? Let's give him a nice hairdo. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, and there he goes. He is drinking the potion. All right, Nathan. So now we can give him a new person. Let's call him Natalie. And then we can change the orientation. So let's say he is attracted to, well, let's leave it be. He's still attracted to women. And if, oh, there it is, our new memory transitioned. My body finally looks the way I want it to. It is a temple and I decorated it with the remains of the gender binary. Thank you, estrogen potion. So he is technically transitioned. For Sims 2 physiology, he's still a male, but the transition was indeed successful. So I wonder what would happen if we made him drink another potion. Okay, so another pop-up. Um, I would like him to... let's put this yeah the, maybe <laughs> so, oh yeah th this is okay let's uh, let's give him that drinking another potion feeling strong okay so let's <laughs> let's change this back to nathan and i'm still gonna leave it as is and okay so now he has a second um a second memory but it's pretty much identical to the first one it says that he has in fact transitioned and like i told you guys there are some mods and some some cc items that you can you know use to really emphasize the transition but the mod works it's it's very simple but it works the sims 2 needs to have you know your sim needs to have a gender so it's not like you can really be genderless and make them look like it i suppose oh a pop-up unfortunately the game is rather binary would you like it would you like it to treat the sim as male or female for the purposes of determining voice bathroom access who is attracted to them and whether they can get pregnant now theoretically were you to drink any of these the results would be exactly the same. The only difference is that the memory will be customized to whichever potion, of course, you're drinking. But your sims do not actually change. You know, their body doesn't change. So if you want your sims just to have an interaction and a memory to transitioning and uh, however it made them feel, you know, you can do that like this. But if you want your sims to really transition entirely, like their entire their entire self, they, they completely swap opposite genders, then we're gonna have to go into SimPE and to do a few things. But first we're gonna have to get our Sim over here and I want her to become a male. So we're gonna drink this potion and it said that we should save it the second that she drinks it or when she grabs it, it's just, <laughs> yep, major improvement. So before she drinks that, we wanna go ahead and save it because that's what it said and then Let's open Sims PE. It is a bit of effort though, because you know, you have to actually open another program, close your game and you know, but if you're really into realistic storytelling, you could definitely, um, you know, just, just do a little bit of extra effort. However, if you don't want to put that extra effort, I think the memory itself is already like a pretty good, like a pretty good option. Plus there are so many outfits these days that can really make your sim look like they have no boobs or big old boobies or like curves or no curves or manly features. But if we want to go through the extra amount of effort, 
Let's go over to Sims PE and transform this little lady into a fun Can we open lamp. it. It does work. If it says that it doesn't open like it did for me, then just ignore it. If using this method in conjunction with the gender transition potion, you should do this before using the gender transition potion. Doing it after will result in needing to change the Sims appearance in the mirror to get the face look right. Preferably, we should do this before we get the pop up. However, what you also could do if you want to do it for storytelling, you could have your Sims doing the potion and then just do this afterward and this is just my opinion you don't have to listen to me but this is what you could do you can download a mod uh, I'll have a link down below do as I did make your sims during the potion you can do it before or after save the game go into sim p change the the gender of your sim go back into the game afterwards click on the tree the the mod the I don't know what it's called off the top of my head I use it every day but I don't remember it crazy right and then you click on the tree and then the tree is going to give you the option to change your sims appearance so there are you know many ways to uh, go around I would suggest do what it said don't look at me if something happens you might as well just do as this text says I'm just giving you my opinion and uh tip from auntie nana <laughs> so what you want to do is open your latest version of sim pe so that's what mine looks like we go to neighborhood neighborhood browser and then we're going to open our sim i will not open our sims but open our neighborhood so what you want to do go to neighborhood neighborhood browser and i put mine in this one in roaring heights this is a custom world that i downloaded didn't make it myself if you guys are wondering and i think it's on tumblr if you wanted to know where exactly i uh, got that from it's either tumblr or mata sims i don't have a link it's been a while you have to select plug in view from the ribbon on the very bottom of the screen next choose tool neighborhood then sim browser tempering oh okay so oh okay oh this oh like this oh this is, oh okay so what we're going to do after loading up your neighborhood you want to go into tools go into neighborhood and then sims browser and we're gonna try and find our sim Oh yeah, it's definitely her. Oh, easy. Okay. I thought it was going to be hard because I didn't remember what her name was like. Next, it says that we should open the character file and go into the top left panel called the resource um, tree. So there's two things that we want to do. We want to make sure that Mary Gavigan is going to be treated as male. Huh? We want to go into age data. Then we have to click on an item called age data in the research list on the right. We should see a list code in the plugin panel on the bottom part of the screen and click on the one that starts with gender and it's probably the third one from the top. In the bottom left, there is a box called value. Change the last number of the value to a one for female or two for male. We're gonna make that a two, commit. Okay, perfect. The next step would be to repeat steps nine to 12 until we change all instances of gender. Back in the resource tree, find the resource property set and click on it. Resource property oh oh hold up um so gender again no that's not gender where's the gender one? Oh, here it is and now we're gonna make that a two okay so far it's pretty pretty self-explanatory all right then we want to select and save that as well and then so oh oh no i think we saved it i think we saved it <laughs> To finish the gender confirmation, we have to edit your sim's appearance. This can be done with the mirror or it could be completed with a gender transition potion. So now let's open the game back up and see if it worked. You guys, it worked. This is what they were saying. See how the hair and, and the face are not really aligning still. The fact that it worked and she's now a man and we're gonna have the appropriate memory. This is really exciting and I cannot imagine how exciting it must be for those who are actually transgender. It reflects on who you guys are on the inside and who you want to be on the outside and I love inclusive mods. I, I really do. This is what I wanted to tell you guys. So if you have done all of this and you're like, um... I don't know i like it looks a little bit funky like the the head shape you know didn't do this before the transition as the text suggested but you did like me afterwards or in the middle of it what you can do is buy this and this has a name it's called the sims modder i think or the sims sim blender that is uh with the sims blender you can click on appearance and then 
simply change it. So let's do plastic surgery. I think, I don't know if it works. Oh, wait, this works as well. I think, yeah, it totally works. Even better, because I can like make them really hot, you know, mm, like, give, give me a bub ditty. Yeah, this should update your, wow, oh, wow. And now he's a real man. <laughs> this is, uh, this is our new guy. And he, he works as a man now. Uh, I mean, I know how his partner feels about that. If he really loves his partner, he'll love him through thick and thin and even through gender swaps and <laughs> changes. Must be a big shock for him, but he'll get over it. After all, this is true love and true love beats all, right? <laughs> anyway, I don't want to make this like too long of a video. It's already pretty long, but this is a really cool mod, you guys. I really like it. Would I personally go through the effort of going to Sim PE to change my Sim's gender? um not per se i will say however that i would see myself use this mod just for the memory and for the like the ability to change your name however that being said i could see myself use this in the future for example like things to slowly transition to slowly build up you know i i really I really like it when things feel a little bit natural. For example, one of my sims is transitioning and they have the, the clothing and the hair, but not the body. And it may bring you in future episodes to actually go and get surgery. And that's when I can always go back uh, into sim PE, change the gender and everything. But uh, for casual gameplay, <laughs> would, I, would I go through the whole sim P effort? Probably not. But like I said, the mod itself, I love it. So this is the mod, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry this video is a little bit on the longer side, but I wanted to make sure to properly explain everything. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I uh, hope to see you guys all in my next one. Bye!